case, you know, something, in case something happens, this is, um, this just gives that, that time for them to come back and, and actually rejoin since they, they did say that they wanted to rejoin. So now I'm going to take you into, if there's no other questions, um, I'm going to take you into the platform. So we're in the platform right here. This is just a test, test account that we have to, to kind of go through this and show you how it works. Um, I'm going to go a quick overview in here, and then we're actually going to come in and I'm going to have you guys log in, and then we're going to build the campaign together. So when you come into the, the actual platform, you're going to be on this insights page. There's not going to be any info yet because this is pretty much just the last 30 days. Um, so what we're going to do is go to campaigns and we're going to go to the campaign that we create. Um, and this is going to be your landing page. This is where you're going to kind of live while you're building all these campaigns. Um, and when we go through in a minute, you're going to name the campaign. You're going to set a date for it because this is a scheduled campaign. You're going to be sending it out on a specific day. Um, and then we have the center here. This is the check-in itself. So when we, when we say check-ins, we're meaning that email, what that question is. Um, and there's, you can make this, make this completely your own. So you can change the questions. You can change the, the options of yes, possibly not at this time. You can add options, um, whatever you want to do there to, to kind of match your organization. Over here, this little arrow right here, this is the workflow option. And where, what this kind of takes you to is, are you interested in rejoining? Yes. What happens after they say yes? It's the whole workflow of what happens after that. So you can see if they answered yes, text on a landing page. This is what we saw when we clicked in that email. And this is, again, totally customizable to your organization. You can, again, this is AI generated. So you'll want to take a look through and go th and just make sure it fits with what your, uh, what your tone is, what your organization wants to say. And then right here is that email that we had sent. So again, if you're at the light and you're ready to rejoin and it changes, you have it in your email for to do later. And then same thing with possibly, same the landing page here, have that information there. We have, um, we added this, this is a tag that you can add. So this will bring everyone into um, a specific list so that if you wanted to, all the people who said possibly I want to join, you might want to add them to like a nurture campaign later down the road. And that, that tag is easy to bring them all together. You don't have to have it, but it's nice to have. And then this last one is a lapse member campaign, excuse me, is the embed I'm sorry, my mouse is going all over the place. Um, lapse member individual embed question. And what this does is bring us to another question where all those different options were that if they didn't wanna join, why not? And here's all those different options here. And then same thing as before, if they, if they answer this, then this happens. So it's the whole process of, of what you can, where you can send them to provide that information. So any questions right here before we all log in and, and start building it ourselves? No? Okay. All right. Does ever, did everyone get their login information? Is everyone logged in right now? I'm trying to pull up the, so I can see everybody. One second. Okay. All right. So if everyone, um, and please unmute yourselves, let's, let's make this an open discussion and have some questions and, and see if there's anything we need to do. Um, so when you log in, you're, like I said, you're most likely going to be on this insights page, and this is going to show you that last 30 days of insights. Um, so what you're going to want to do is go to campaigns. Is everyone again, following along? Let me see. All right, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to this blue button over here, this create create new campaign and do that drop down right there. It says create from blueprint. And what we're gonna do, gosh, my mouse. What we're gonna do is scroll down to the lapse win back campaign workshop blueprint. Does everyone see that? And what you're going to do is select that and just kind of an overview. So these are all the blueprints that we have. Um, and what the blueprints are is they're, they're 
campaigns that are pretty much done for you. So it puts you into a position of more of an editor than a creator. So it can save you so much time. And these are more of the foundational um, campaigns that we have. So, uh, you know, if you have an event coming up, you can use these certification, lapse members, member acquisition, whole different kinds of kinds of ones you can use. So let's go to the lapse win back campaign, blue uh, workshop blueprint. Does everyone see there? I can't see everybody. So Melissa, if you're uh, if you're there, just let me know if anyone has any questions or anything. Yeah, of course. Perfect. All right. So in this, so this is the the blueprint here. So at the top here, you can see this campaign guide. This gives you kind of a whole rundown of the you know why you want to run these kind of campaigns, the reasoning behind it. Um, um, you can check that out at a later time, but this, this specific one, this is going through all the prompts that you want, you're going to need to complete in order to run this campaign. So you can see, we're going to need to name it, the sender's name, the job title, reply to contacts, emails, phone numbers, and then where they can rejoin. And this campaign name can be anything. The, the member is not going to see this. This is going to be your internal name. So name it, you can just name it 2024 laps, win back campaign, whatever you want. Um, so if you have a second, go through and just um, start completing this information. I'll just kind of give you some background as you're as you're completing it. Um, the sender's name can be, you know, someone in your organization. It could be your person in membership or events or wherever it is. It can also just be your association name. But if there's an actual sender name, that would be that would be best to do. Um, include their job title and reply to email. So if it was, you know, Kathleen Conigan at Prop Fuel. I'm going to put Kathleen at Prop Fuel so that if anyone has any questions or needs to reply, that's going to, excuse me, that's going to reply right to me so I can, I can address any questions they have. Um, the contact email address, that can be the same or it can be, you know, a, an info ad or support ad, something like that. Um, phone number, put that in and then you'll rejoin your member, your member uh, rejoin link. Everyone uh, have everything all set up? All right, let's continue. So once you have all that in there, you're going to um, click that run, that green run on the bottom, and then it's gonna populate all that information for you. So I'll give it a second just to let it populate. And again, you're gonna be brought in right into this insights page. Um, again, nothing's gonna be here yet because you haven't run anything yet. So we're gonna to go to want to go to the campaigns and then click on the one that you just created. And then it'll bring, drop us down to this design page that we were in previously. How about this one? Um, if you guys don't mind, if you can, if you're on camera, like raise your hand when you're good or pop in chat when you're good or give like the thumbs up. A yeah. little okay. And, yeah, so that way we know <laughs> we don't wanna to go too fast and then we like, lose anyone <laughs> the perfect place to give us a thumbs up or let us know if you have any questions yeah and again melissa for some reason i can't see the anybody so if you can just kind of keep me updated on that that'd be great um so i'm going to assume everyone is here we've run the campaign we have our information in there so we're going to start on this design tab and again you can see what you name the what you name the campaign and there's kind of three different sections here so we have our question and if you want to edit the question, you come in here in that little pencil mark right next to um, the blue button. And you can see we have our multiple choice. Are you interested in rejoining? You can change any of this text. And while we're here, I, I encourage you if you want to make any changes um, to the options or change the question a little bit, like, are you interested in rejoining? Are you ready to renew? Anything like that, or just keep it as is. Um, let's go ahead and do that now so that you can... Um, we can save that and move on to where the workflow um, updates will be. And again, options, yes, possibly or not at this time, you can change those um, to anything you want to kind of match the tone and, and what your organization um, usually sends out. And then you just save that question at the bottom. And then once you have all that information there, this little arrow, and when you hover over it, it says workflows. It has a little three right next to it. You want to click on that. And what's that? what that's going to do is show us. So you, answer, you ask the question, are you interested in rejoining? 
these are the options. And then the workflows of, of what happens when they say yes, what happens when they say possibly and not at this time. So um, as you come down here, again, you can see, you can remember from the, when I went through that from the user experience, the show text on the landing page. So that's wonderful news, rejoining easy. This is our member benefits here. These links here are what you you put in when you ran that blueprint, right? Those, uh, those options you put in there. So they're gonna automatically populate in here. You can change them, you can add different ones. You can adjust all this. You know, you have different texts that you can do, different kinds of headings. Um, you can add different links in here. You can add photos. You can, you can really make this um, completely, completely your own organization. So um, I'm gonna give you a few, a, a minute or so just to kind of update that information. And uh, if you can just kind of give us a, a thumbs up or just say, okay, we'll, we'll, we can uh, kind of move on to the next one. And again, this is AI information, so or generated information. So um, some of it may be spot on, some of it may really need some adjusting. So you'd wanna just kind of take a little time um, to look at it and see if you need to make any updates for that. All right. How's everyone doing? Christy, I see you nodding. Thanks. <laughs> we got another on that. camera. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna um, let's let's. Uh, this is this is information too that you can always once you save it, you can always go back and make updates at any time. So if you want to even just put a placeholder in there and say, hey, make sure to add the member benefits here or something like that, you can always do that and go back to that at a later time. So if you remember too, when someone said yes, if they're sitting at that light and they didn't get a chance to renew right at that moment, we send them that email right away. So. Now, one second. So that email there, we, we like to keep these pretty simple. Um, it's basically just here's your link to reinstate your membership in case you still need it. If you already joined, don't worry about it. Here's how to contact us and then who it's from. Um, and again, this information is populated a lot from that, um, those prompts that you had when you first ran the blueprint. Um, you can change the subject if you want, the from, the reply to name. So again, those prompts just pull in that information, You but you can change it at any time during any of these steps. Um, so you're not stuck to that information. And if you wanted to, too, you could add some more information, you know, in between to, to add the member benefits or anything like that. But again, simpler is usually better. So if you want to just keep it at this, this is good. So I'll give you a second if you want to do anything with that. And then, of course, with throughout this whole process, anything, any changes you make, just make sure to uh, click that save action green button at the bottom to make sure that your, any actions you make actually make those changes, so. And an important step, uh, you know, as you go through these, um, making these updates to all these questions, you'll want, once you're finished, completely finished with it, you're gonna wanna toggle on um, where it says off there, you want to toggle that workflow on because if it's not, it's actually not going to run through when the person clicks on any of this. So you want to make sure that once you have all the information set the way it is, that, like the way you want it, that that is toggled on. Any questions so far? All right. Um, so the next, next uh, possibility or next question that they can answer it possibly same thing, showing text on the landing page. Again, you can edit this as, as, any way you want, um, add any links, change links, anything like that. So um, I'll give you a second to read through those and see if you want to make any changes. And again, this and the yes option, a lot of the times those are, are very similar. So you can always copy and paste to, to save yourself a little time there as well. And again, always save your action before if you make any changes. Everyone following along okay so far? Um, okay, so on this one, we also have a tag. Um, like I mentioned, uh, the maybe to rejoining, this is just gonna be useful to really in your um, in your contact list to be able to 
um, add them to a nurture campaign or, or add them to a different campaign to follow up at another time to see if that's, since they already expressed interest that possibly they do wanna join, you wanna make sure you uh, follow up with those people. And again, you can delete that action or you can keep it in there, whatever's, um, it's just kind of one of those nice to haves. And then the third option, this is gonna be a little bit different. So this is what we call an external embed question or a branch question. Um, and like we saw, so when they say not at this time, we wanna know why they're not joining and possibly provide information to, to maybe win them back um, even after they, they said no. So when you, um, if you can click on, go to the end of that question, you see a little box with the arrow up to the right. You wanna click on that and that's gonna open in a new tab. And it's gonna look very similar to what we just had because it's it's like a, another campaign in a campaign. So um, this is where it says, you know, you go to the question, why is APFC and B membership not a good fit at this time? And then you have all these options here. Um, again, you can change these to whatever you want. If you wanna add any options, um, you can do that. So I'll give you a second just to take a look through these and see if these, if you think these options are gonna work for you. Um, you and your organization. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Now in this one also, we have a follow-up question so that when this person says, you know, any, you can answer any of these questions and then still have this option. But a lot of times when someone clicks something else, tell us more, there's gonna be a box there for them to, to enter in any information that they want. So. Um, they'll be free to provide any information about the, you know, the specific reason why they're not rejoining, which is going to be so useful to you and to see if there's something um, that you guys can do. And when you're all set there, you're going to save the question and then click on that workflow. So again, go, save the question, go to the workflows at the end, and you'll have like a little seven there. Um, just to note, if you do change any of these options, um, since these are already mapped to the workflows over here, if you change any of them, you're going to see a little red mark right here. And, and don't worry about it. It's, it's, it, it's going to happen if you change anything, but it's an easy fix. So you click on the workflow. If for some reason you change how this, this section is worded, all you have to do is do the drop down and find the option that you changed it to and remap it. So it's, it's a, an easy fix there. But again, this is similar to the other pages. So if someone comes in and answers, I wasn't seeing value previously, we're gonna show them some information on the landing page, which is similar to all the member benefits that we had for those other questions. So again, this is where, you know, copying and pasting similar information will help you save some time. Um, and again, a lot of this um, information is AI. So um, you wanna just take a quick look. I'm gonna give it a second just to, to have everyone take a look and see if you wanna make any changes. Melissa, we have any questions or hand raises over there? Not really. I was going to say maybe we go around the horn and just like check check in with everybody because we've been going for a little bit. I just want to make sure everyone's everyone's feeling good. Good, good. And like I said, for some reason, I can't see all the, the names. So if you could help me with that, that would be awesome. Oh, yeah. Christy, how are you feeling? Good. Thumbs up. Love it. Awesome. Amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, Sarah, doing all right. Awesome. Love it. Thank you. Griff, all good? Yep, doing good. Thank you. Beautiful. Love it. All right. We would like Daniel, to hear. Daniel, you're next on my list. You feeling good? Any questions? Yeah, doing good. Awesome. Love it. Chelsea, how's it going? I'm good. Beautiful. Everyone's following along all right. Bridget, feeling all yep, right? all good. Just following along. Okay. Going too fast, going too slow, just right. Just let me know. I see Kay Murray next on my list. Kay, you all right? Yes. Beautiful. Love it. Uh, Austin, all good? Yep, doing good. Yes. Beautiful. And Dante, next on my list. Yeah, nice. Uh, ben? It looks so easy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Everything's good. Love it. Thank you all so much. 
Thank you guys. Good to hear your voices. <laughs> All right, so um, again, so we had that text on the landing page and then we go right into um, if someone wasn't seeing value previously, they get this email sent to them just like that original email. Um, and again, right here, you can see this contact field first name. That's where that's a personalization token that we have. Um, Melissa, is there, are they usually in there if they're not connected to their... Um, to their AMS. So we'll upload that when we get to the stage of uploading people's okay. personal information. If you want to include first name, just make sure that's on your spreadsheet of people that you're going to be importing. If you're like, oh, I don't know that I'm going to include first name, just remove it. You don't Perfect. Have to. Perfect. And again, I'll give you guys a minute just to kind of take a look at this, whether you want to delete that contact field, edit any of the, the member benefits, any of the links, anything like that. I'll give you a second here. I only see the option to add a contact name, not just first name. Oh, okay. So that might be an opportunity, Kathleen, for us to add the first name personalization token, okay. um, which let's is actually a pretty fun little detour. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, actually, let's get out of here. Anyone else that is like, wait, I really want to include first name. Let me do like a raise hand or a, or a thumbs up. Christy says yes. Beautiful. All right. So let's do it. Let's go. All righty. All right. Let's see if we remember this. Okay. So what we're going to do is go to our settings on the left-hand side in the blue, um, blue bar there. Click on settings. And then you're going to go to advanced. And then go to fields. Everyone follow that. So settings, advanced fields, and then we're going to go to create a field. And Melissa, just correct me if I'm wrong here. Oh, you're first, good, you're good. <laughs> first name, text, and then default value. Um, that would be if you don't have their first name. If you forgot, somebody. Oh, that's you right. So like information, yeah. colleague something like that. So when it says that if they don't have a first name in there, it'll say hi colleague or hi friend or hey member or something like that. So you could put anything in there. I'm a big fan of there. Like, hello there. Hi there. Oh, I like that too. I'm going to put that <laughs> <laughs> I like it. And, and then you, you just whatever you want or remove it completely. Oops. And then once you have that connected there, you click save. Did everyone kind of follow that flow? Question, when would you be using these custom text fields since you already have links to your database? I may have missed that part. Um, Melissa, you wanna handle that one? Yeah, so Dante, since you and the ASN team that's here are already prop fuel clients, you've got a lot more going on in your account. <laughs> Um, where we've mapped fields that connect to your AMS and we're pulling things in. Um, so if, when you're looking at your custom fields, it's probably a little bit more robust than this list. I would say in general, anytime you want to use something for personalization, whether it's their member ID, their first name, maybe you're an organization that does prefix last name, if it's a little bit more formal with your outreach, whatever personalization fields you'd be interested in using within this campaign or with any other campaigns, if you're a prop fuel client, you could just create fields and then it'll show up there on that drop down so that you can add those as personalization fields almost literally anywhere in prop fuel. Thank you. And yeah, that, that's great. We've been using prop fuel for seven months and we love it. So that's why I was asking, trying to understand the purpose, but thank you. <laughs> love it. So glad you're here, John Day, the whole ASN team. You guys are fun. Thanks, Melissa. All right, so if, if there's no questions here, let's go back to the campaign. Go back to the individual member. And remember we were in, am I going too fast here? So we're in the design tab here. And then you wanna click on that workflow. And remember we were in that embed question, the third one when they click not at this time. So you wanna hit that little box to the right to bring you to that new tab so we can continue on with editing there. Everyone with me? 
I can see some names and stuff. I can see the people and some of the people now. So, um, so we're going to click on that workflows again in here to take us back here. So we got as far as I wasn't seeing value previously, send email. Um, so let's move on to that next one. The, my employer won't pay for it this year. Show text on the landing page. And again, a lot of the same similar information is there of showing why it's, why the, the benefits are there. Um, why, why your employer should pay for it. You know, if you guys have any issues with that, we can always help with that too. Um, but yeah, take a minute and just kind of update this information here for your, for your organization. Can I chime in with a little hack? You absolutely can. Um, I can't help myself. So you can very much like copy and paste. If you're like, oh, I updated these couple of bullets and I just want to update, like sure, you can copy or paste it. If you find that you, let's say you overhaul this whole page you, and you come up with something brilliant in literally the one minute we've given you to edit this, <laughs> or if later you spend a lot of time and effort editing this and you want to reuse it, Kathleen, if you don't mind hitting cancel or X. Sure. Um, you can go to saved workflows on the right hand side and um, perfect. And right there, it'll pull all of these workflows that are here. So you could copy other workflows instead of literally copying and pasting each section of text. You could copy a whole workflow if you wanted. And then Good just tip. recap it to whatever response option you want it to go to. Change a couple of words and you're good. Perfect. Thank you. And then similar with this one, the send email, it's it's going to be similar to the last one. It's just basically um, sending this email so that they have it fresh. If they're have a fresh in their email, they can access it at any time. You can again make any changes here to the emails, to the text, anything you want here. So I'll give you another second here, another minute. Just curious, are you guys actually, are you making changes? Are you gonna come back to this at a later time and make some updates or kind of a mix of both? I'm gonna probably come back later. Yeah, I need some time to think. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Looks like Chelsea's made some changes. That's awesome, Chelsea. Oh, perfect. And then again, when you're done, always remember to save that. And again, as you're moving through these two, it's always good once you're finished, completely finished updating it, toggle those, um, toggle those workflows on so that you have, uh, so that they are, they're part of the campaign. And then we're going to continue down here. I'm going to give you guys some time. So we have, um, so, so there's something else, text on the landing page. Thanks for letting us know. Here are the member benefits. Um, again, always edit everything you need to adjust and, um, I'll give you a second here to, to put what you want to, to add in. And again, always save your action there. Now this one's a little different here. So when you, someone says something else, show text on the landing page. Remember this um, question over here is when we asked, the original question, why is membership not a good fit at this time? Here are all the options. We had a follow-up question down here that tell us more. So this question is gonna be available for everybody. So regardless of what you answer, it's gonna be at the bottom of the screen. So it, even if someone answers, you know, I wasn't seeing value, they can add in, um, you know, anything in their own words in this text box. So this, what this is showing right here, if the text response field is full, someone in your organization is gonna get a, an alert. And what you wanna do here is actually pick someone, just type in the email address of who in your organization should get this email so that, um, and you can put a note in here, you can change this to whatever you want, but monitor and reply if there's something we can do to help this member rejoin. Um, it gives the, um, the question that they're actually answering and then um, who's actually answering as well. So it just gives you an opportunity for these people to, um, or for you to reach out to these people who may need a little bit more human interaction and assistance. So, so if you can go in there and, and click in the recipient who you think should go to, and then edit it if you'd like, and just click save action. I'll give you a minute to do that. 
Sorry, can you show me where that was again? Sure. So right under um, the something else, you'll see if question answered matches text response field, you send an alert. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And again, you just put in the email address of who you want that alert to go to, um, and you can update this and, and change it as you want. But you can see that you'll you'll know why you're getting this email and from who. Everyone good on that? I see some heads bobbing, that's good. All right, um, again, well, let's go to the next one. I don't have time to commit to membership, so let's show text on the landing page. Um, again, a lot of this information may be the same for, for many of these, just showing what your member benefit is and um, just hoping that they, you know, you wanna make them understand what, what you do have a value and, and what they can gain from being part of your organization. And again, always editable links, everything in here. So I'll give you a minute to take a, to go through this. Always remember to save those actions. Um, so we have two more left on here. So we have, I'm retiring. Congratulations on your well-earned retirement. This is a great place for you. If you have any um, discounted membership for retirees, or if you have anything special for retirees, maybe they you know, get to go to the annual meeting for free or any kind of special thing that you would offer a retiree, this is the place where you wanna put it so that maybe they would want to um, stay on even in their retirement. save your action. And then the last one here is I've left the field. With this one, if they've left the field, there's you, you may just tell them how, you know, we wish you the best of luck, anything like that. There, if, there's, if, if they're leaving the field, they might, you know, your organization's probably not going to be a value to them at this point. So just wish them well and, and, uh, and let them there. Or you can enjoy the, or you can add them to um, like social media. If you have social media pages, if they want to be part of that, you can add that in here too. Um, just really anything that would, uh, that you want to add here for your organization. And then save that action. And again, just when you're, when you come back in here and you complete all these, just again, make sure to toggle on all these workflows so that they're part of the campaign. I'm gonna take a second here. How's everyone? How's everyone feeling so far? Is still still getting still good? Seeing some head nods, one or two. I love the thumbs up reaction. <laughs> Thank you. I like it. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Sarah. Okay. Yeah. So at this point, let's go back into the main campaign. And um, just because a lot of you seem, I think you're gonna come back and do some editing here. Um, if you click on the settings, so when you come back into the campaign, you're automatically on the designs tab, click on the settings tab and scroll down a little bit and you'll see this notes section here. This is a great place where you can add any notes about, um, you know, make sure to go in and add the links for all the member benefits or whatever it is. Um, that you wanna remind yourself of, this is a good place to kind of keep it all in one place. So I'll give you a second if you wanna just jot down some notes to, to kind of remind yourself when you are when you come back into this. And when you're done, just again, make sure always click on the green arrow or green save, uh, just to make sure everything stays in there. Okay, um, any questions at this point? Keep on moving to the third part. So kind of, you can kind of think of these campaign or these check-ins as uh, three separate areas. So you have your question here, 
you have your workflows where all the, where you guide them into whatever their answer is, where, you know, if this happens and this happens. And you also have your templates, which is the kind of the look and feel of the emails, of the landing pages, all that kind of stuff. And where you'll find that is right above the workflow button in that little gear icon. So if everyone can click on that little gear icon and go to templates, you'll see these templates here. Is everyone following along? Okay. Um, so we have, you can see we have two campaign, two um, templates here. So we have the email template and we also have the thank you page template. The email template is what that email you get um, with a question in it. So if you click on edit right next to it, this is where you can really customize this page for the look and feel of, uh, you know, whatever the campaign is. You can, um, on this right side here, you can see the template name. You can name that whatever you want. Um, that's, no one's going to see that. This is where your from name is. So um, Melissa Bittner, her, her email address that she can everyone can reply to. Um, and then your subject of, of why are you emailing them? And the cool little feature that we have now um, that we just added is there's a little AI generate a suggestion button now. So if you don't like this checking in on your LAPS um, membership, you can click on it, give it a second and it'll, it'll regenerate from um, AI another one. And if you don't like that, you can keep moving and keep going and it'll keep keep generating. So you, it just kind of to help jog your memory of, or an idea of what you want your subject to be, it's, it can be helpful. And then in the center here, you have your main email template. So you have your logo, you have your intro text and you have your, your this uh, area where your question is actually gonna land. So if you want to change your um, logo, just click on the box so it's highlighted right around it. And then click on these three little lines with dots on them. I never know what to call those, but click on that right here. Um, and you can choose a file and upload it so that you have a, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Um, we, we recommend don't going above 600 pixels because um, it can be sometimes hard to read too big in um, certain emails and things like that. So um, just if you're uploading a new logo, just make sure to keep it under 600. And then this intro text here, you can, again, customize any of this. So this is where in that email, we saw your membership has last. We understand it's been busy and you missed your renewal messages. There's still time to reinstate it. So again, you can, um, you can update this information. You can add um, tokens, like personalization tokens, like that first name or anything like that. And what you would do there. And we added that first name. So you can click on that and say, hello, first name, your membership has lapsed. Um, so you can edit all that. The next part here, you don't wanna touch. So this is automatically gonna pull in that question that we had on that check-in. Um, so you wanna leave that as is. Um, and then if you wanna change the, the, the sweater area, you can change that information. I'll give you a second to kind of play around with this. Um, and then when you're all set with it, just click save template. anyone have any questions about that? Okay. Save template here. And then we're just going to go into the thank you page template, um, which is when you click on, you get there from the gear icon templates, and then click on the edit next to the thank you page. And this is, unless you're going to change the logo, you're probably just going to keep this as is. Um, because again, it's just this sample landing page text is just going to pull in from what you have on that landing page um, information from the workflows. And then you just click save template. And then you're good with these. But if you remember, remember, we do have a branch question or an embed question. So we need to go back into there and update the template for that just to make sure that is good too. So when you're back on this design in the main campaign, click on the work close button, the right arrow, scroll down to that last question, not at this time, redirect to another question and click on that little box with the right arrow. And same thing as we just did on that other page, you wanna click on that little gear icon above the workflows, go to templates. And now you can see we're updating the check-in page because the check-in page is, um, is the template that you want to change 
for these template or excuse me for these embed questions or these branch questions. So again, it's, you know, thanks for letting us know. Perhaps there's something else we can do. Um, again, you want to keep this sample text. You don't want to touch this, um, this text right here because that's going to pull in the question from the check-in. Um, but you can edit this. Thank you for letting us know. There's something we can do. So I'll give you a second to kind of take a look at that if you want to adjust that. And then just save that template there, close out of here. And while you're here, you wanna just kind of double check too that, you know, again, once you're finished editing all this information that these workflows are gonna be on, looks like they're all on, so you're set. And then if you wanna come back to campaigns and go back into your main campaign, um, we're kind of at that point where we can start testing it. So. I just want to open it up to everybody. Does anyone have any questions at this point? Do you have any anything we can help with? I'm gonna go around the room real quick just to just to double check before we start testing. Chelsea, how are you doing? I'm good. Okay. Ben. I'm doing good. Doing good. Okay, good. Dante, you guys are still set? Yeah, this is wonderful news uh, information. Okay. I've, uh, I'm about to sign off, but thank you so much. And okay. my teammates are on this call, so it's great. Great, great. Appreciate it. Christy, you're all set? Yep, doing good. Perfect. I've been seeing you nodding along. How about you, Austin? I'm doing good, thanks. All right, Sarah, I got your thumbs up. How about you, Griff? Doing good also, thank you. Perfect. Daniel, how are you? Doing good. All set. Okay, we got Bridget thumb up, and how about Kay Murray? Hi. Yeah, this is good information. I thank you. Uh, I got a hard stop in about five minutes, but uh, this has been great. Doing good. No problem. No problem. Great. All right. So now let's uh, let's go quickly. Um, back we're back in the design where the check in is. So we want to go to if we want to start testing this. It's in the same area as the templates. So you want to click on that little gear icon and send a test email. And this is where I just put your email address in and send that um, send that over. And then you can actually, I'll give you guys a few minutes just to go through, get that email and just start clicking through, make sure links work and all that kind of stuff. So you can see the flow of how that goes. I do wish we had some like background music or I just have the rain falling in the background. So. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Melissa, do you have anything to add? Anything, you know, like at, up until this point, this testing? If you don't get that test email in like a minute or two, um, and you've updated your DNS settings, it's possible that your email system's freaking out a little bit going, wait a minute, it's sending from me to me, That's, that that could be malicious. Um, in that case, we have whitelist instructions we would send you if you're a client, certainly before you actually sent it out. Um, even you know when you're ready to send this out, you we can send you whitelist instructions so you can actually get it. So I would say if you don't get it within a minute or two, try with a personal email. Um, it's not gonna like record that personal email and, and uh, be something that you're like locked into this account um, but it will show up on the history tab just so that you can see where the response options land we'll cover that in a minute <laughs> everyone receiving those tests okay cool this is where when All you right. see yourself a test you can see what it looks like and that's the perfect opportunity to ask any questions of like Hey, why does it look like this? Or how do I make it look like that? Uh, the look and feel stuff will likely be in the templates, but we're happy to troubleshoot or answer any questions, or even if you want to share your screen and say, how do I fix this thing? Happy to do that. Perfect. Give it just another minute here to make sure everyone's going through. 
And then our next step will be to enroll our contacts. So if you have um, a CSV file set up um, from those instructions from the um, workshop, email, just uh, get that ready. We're gonna be pulling that in shortly. About 22 minutes left. So. Everyone Can I ask okay a to... quick question? Oh, sure, Daniel. What's going on? Yeah. Are, are we going to receive a recording of this? I believe we so. Are, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So you'll be able to kind of stop it and go and, and kind of do it along with the, with the recording. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And someone will be reaching out afterwards too to see if you have any questions. So there'll be a few opportunities. Yeah, and Daniel, and, and for everyone, we're we're happy to work with you all offline. Um, you know, post meeting if you if you need help and and more guidance. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike. Any other questions up until this point? Like I said, our our next step is going to be enrolling contacts into the campaign. So. Um, like I said, have that CSV file ready. So what we're going to do is go to the enrolled contacts um, tab at the top. You can see right now there's no fields, nobody's pulled in yet. So what we're going to want to do is upload contacts and select a file. I have one here. Um, kind of some things to note, you're going to need, there definitely needs to be an email field um, and there needs to be a header field. Um, so you wanna make sure that's that's in the CSV file. You can add names, first names, last names, full names. Um, I have all three in here, so I'll show you what I have in here. So um, when you pull that contact, when mine had contact email, contact first name and contact full name. So what you, what you wanna do is actually connect it. So the contact email, you wanna click that drop down and click on email so it connects to there. The contact first name, same thing, click on the first name, contact full name, click on the full name. And then you wanna review your import. And this is where you can see, so it pulled in the, you can either add or remove contacts at this point, but obviously we wanna add these contacts in here. Um, and this just kind of gives you a preview of what's in, um, what's gonna be pulling in. So Kathleen Conigan and Kathleen at PropFuel is gonna be pulling in. So if that looks right to you, um, you wanna just go ahead and import contacts. And then it's gonna queue up. You can get back to the campaign here. And then you can, can as you as contacts are pulled in, they're actually gonna be pulled back into this enrolled contacts uh, tab. So any questions about kind of that process there? All right. And then next steps, um, we can go back into the settings tab here where we were going into that notes section. Um, and you can see, scroll down a little bit and you can see send times and reminders. And this sending window is right now set at five to 8 a.m. You can click on this little pencil button right next to it and do the drop down. And you can, you can go ahead and choose any time of day that works best for your organization, whether it's you know early morning or evening or midday, um, just go ahead and choose then. And then just make sure to check on that little green, green box. And then go back um, after that, it's just a matter of setting your date and setting to go live. So if you're all set with your campaign, you're ready to go, you can click on the date that you want it to send, whether it's you know Friday, click confirm. And then the last step before you go live is click this little drop down under the name of the campaign. And it, right now it's in draft, but if you wanna go live, you're ready to go, everything's good. Click on that go live and you're ready to go and it'll send out at the time frame that you set you're good to go. And that's that. Who's got a question? I received an error when I did it. Which part, which, um, which session did you get that error? When I tried to go live. Oh, yeah. I got it. Um, so you'll want to go live with the embed campaign first. Um, so you start at the end of the conversation. In this case, there's only one embed, makes it super easy that no. 
So you can go to that no path, turn that one on live first, and then come back to this main one. It even says it in the alert, like there's an attached campaign that's not yet live. Um, so that's, you'll just always start at the end of the conversation. And then the last one to go live is the emailed one. You could also do that from the campaign homepage too, if that's easier, especially if in the future you have multiple embed campaigns, you can just kind of go down the line and make them all live at once. But Chelsea, I can, I can kind of walk you through. So if you're in this design tab here, click on that workflows button mm -hmm. and then scroll down to the no, not at this time embed question option. Click on that little square with the, the, right, the right arrow. And then click on the workflows again. It'll just be like that top left corner. Top left corner. From oh. drag to live. Go live there. There we go. Yeah. And then you should be good to go. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. No problem. You'll do that in bed one, and then you can go back to the email one and make that one live. So as you can see, once you get the hang of it, it really is really user friendly. It's, you know, once you know where everything lives, it's really kind of easy to update everything and, and kind of get it set for your for your membership. Anybody have any other questions? Melissa, you have anything else you can think of? So Mike. I would say, you know, the goal of this is to give you a really simple, basic lapse member one back check in. Um, it's always great to start simple, but if you have any questions about like, well, what if I want to do this? We've actually got a little bit of time left, which is perfect. Um, when we train, when you sign on to Prop Fuel and you join us, there's a whole community of people that are working on things like this. So you can start with a blueprint, pull it. We're here as client success managers for strategy guidance of like, how do I make the most out of this? Um, and we also have a community of other PropFill users will get together regularly for either workshops or roundtables. We're working on a client only community as well. We've got one through ASA Collaborate. Um, so there's lots of ways to really amplify your strategy as well. It's not just a tool. Although it's a super effective tool. <laughs> I have one yeah. question. How, how many embedded, like, is there a max number of questions that you can have? Like, if you wanted to make like a five part campaign or something, can you do that? Yeah. So yeah. that's actually a perfect strategy question. Kathleen, you can answer it because I seem like I feel like you were about to. Oh, no, I was going okay. to say absolutely. Depending on the type of campaign, I mean, if you're doing, you know, say a new member onboarding campaign, you're going to have many different check-ins. You could have up to like 12, as many as you need. Um, and then some are only going to have three or four. So it just depends on the type of campaign and, and how many you want to add in there. And go ahead, Melissa, I didn't want to cut you off there. No, that's that's perfectly right. There's also a strategy behind like how many layers deep do you go into the conversation? So this is meant to be a back and forth exchange. If someone, you know, the question is, are did you know, you're, or are you planning to rejoin? From there, if you say no, you're asking them why not. I wouldn't go more than one more layer deep so that like two additional questions there. Beyond that, we'll see a dropping off. But you'll be really surprised the number of people that will answer that second or perhaps even third question as long as it feels relevant and conversational. Um, so a good example there is, you know, if you have a specialized retiree membership thing where you need to make sure they meet certain qualifications before finding out if they're interested, you could go one more layer deep, um, especially when you're working with your prop fuel CSM. Um, but there isn't a technical limit from a strategy perspective. It's just about keeping the conversation short and relevant. Okay. Thank you. So just curious, how many of you think you're going to be sending this out in like the next week or so? Love it.
and like you saw in Ryan's presentation there in the beginning, it's just the, the last time we did this, the results of those people were just, it was crazy. So I hope, yeah, I hope each of them, every one of you has that, that same, that same result once you get this sent out. And like I said, we're, we're here if you have any questions and, you know, people will be following up with you. So be good. Kathleen, since we have a minute, do you want to show sure. them like the history tab and the metrics and how they could do replies? Oh, sure. Sure. So, um, oops, I'll go back into campaign. So again, when you're in this campaign, you have some, um, uh, one thing to note too, once you send this out, when you come back in here, the design tab is going to be empty. Um, but don't, don't worry about it. Cause once you send it out, it's everything moves to the history tab. Um, and this is where you're going to be able to see all your metrics, all your responses. And if you click on this delivery metrics here, you're going to be able to see, um, you know, how many were delivered, how many were open, how many were bounced. Um, if for some reason you had a lot of bounces, you can actually click on this little tab here and export the bounces so that someone can follow up with them directly to make sure that you, you know, get that correct information um, for their emails or, or whatever. Um, it's just a good way to, to get in touch with them after the fact. Um, over here, you can see, you can view the workflows again, if you need to make any changes um, and then show responses here. This kind of gives you an overall view of, again, how many were sent, how many were answered, what was the response rate, and then gives you a nice graph um, of just a, a good a good preview of, so you can take a look and see, well, how many people are planning to renew or how many are not planning to renew. Um, and then down here, you can see different responses here. You can actually reply right from here if you wanted. Um, so if someone, depending on what question it is, if there was a response needed, you can go in there and just re reply right in here in the prop fuel conversation. So um, just a lot of a lot of different ways to, to get that. And then again, in the insights, once you guys have more campaigns running, you'll have more, um, more activity in here that you can view, so. Lots of ways to measure success in here. So, all right. Anything else you can think of? I think we're we've got a few more minutes here. If you have any questions, so we're ready for them. But if there are none, happy to give you guys a few minutes back in your day too. And uh, like I said, we will be following up with you. You'll get the recording as well. Um, so if you have any questions, just let us know. Thank you. No problem, Chelsea. Glad everyone could spend the time with us today. Great.